Hi, this is Ratan Gupta from Knowledge Varsity, and here we are trying to uh, answer a question regarding the currency forwards. So let us see the problem. Here in this problem, one thing is not given. That is the spot rate is not given. So you, spot rate here means like what is the forex rate in the spot. So how do you find out when the spot rate is not given? But for your benefit, the other forward rates are given over here. So let us see this problem. The problem is on the currency forward, which is a part of the financial markets and products. The what they have given is a one-year forward exchange rate for the USD INR pair is given. So it is a one-year forward rate. So the forward rate for one year is given as 55 rupee per dollar. The one-year risk-free rate in the US is given, and also the India rate is given. So the rate that we have been given is one year. So the one year US rate is given. The one year India rate is given. US rate is given as two percent, and India rate is given as eight percent. Also, they have given you the four-year rate. The four-year risk-free rate is given over here is four percent per annum, and they have given this as nine percent per annum. Right, so not much of a maturity premium that you are getting, right? So this these are the two rates that they have given. They are asking us to find out the four-year forward exchange rate. So four-year forward, they are asking us to compute what is the four-year forward on this pair. One more thing they have given that these rates are the continuous compounding rates. Please note that most of these rates which are falling from the John C. L. book are the continuous compounding rates. So what we can do is we have to find out this forward rate. I know that the forward rate for one year. The forward rate for one year will be given as S not. Okay, if this is in the format of rupee to dollar, if this is in the format of rupee to dollar, then it will be e to the power of R, which is the rate in India because Indian currency is rupee minus the R US rate into the time. The time here is one year. So let's say as of now, we'll say into T. Right. So what we'll do is we'll know that F1 is equal to S not e to the power of R India, which is 0.08 minus R US, which is 0.02 into one. Similarly, the four-year forward rate. So the, this is the T-year forward rate. So the four-year forward rate will be given as S not e to the power the four-year rate, which is nine percent, 0.09. Minus 0.04 into 4. So this is the four-year forward rates. Now what you are required to do is you are required to since this S not is not there. So if this is your equation one and this is your equation two, if I sub divide one by two, or sorry, if I divide two by one, equation two divided by equation one, what I have on the left hand side is F4 divided by F1. So left hand side. F4 divided by F1. Right hand side, what I have is S not will get cancelled, and e to the power 0.09 minus 0.04 into 4 divided by e to the power 0.08 minus 0.02 into 1. So this is so if you simplify this, F4 will become F1 into e to the power. Okay, let us simplify. This will be 0.36. Nine into four thirty six minus four into four it will be point zero one six okay and if I bring this above so this will become minus zero point zero eight and this will become so if I just erase this so minus this will become minus and this will become plus point zero two so it it is a very simple problem f one over here is given as fifty five. E to the power so 36 minus so it should be 0.16. Sorry, this should be 0.16. Okay, so 36 minus 16 20 plus 2 22 minus 8 is 14. So you have 0.14. So you'll compute this 0.14. So you'll compute 0.14 e to the power. So we have to press this second and then this ln. So which is 1.15, and then I will multiply with 55. So it will become 63.26. So the forward rate for four year 
it will be 63.26 rupee per dollar this is how you will compute if the spot rate is not given to you okay i hope this has clarified your concept this is ratan gupta from knowledge varsity thank you